Do you feel like a COVID idiot? <laughs> Dr. Robert Kazar, EarthRacademy.com, rethinking reality. Once again, do you feel like a COVID idiot? Okay. <laughs> so let's get into this. Here we go. I got to go into town now. So guess what? I got to put on my COVID idiot mask, right? Because I want to breathe my lunch on my breath. I'm going to make sure that I don't cough or spit or do anything on anybody, even though I'm not going to, is because I'm not sick. But do you feel like a COVID idiot? And I just see, you know, I just went to the post office a second ago and I see people driving in, in their cars, not only with the air conditioning on, right? Okay, not breathing fresh air, but they're breathing through this mask. Okay, increasing their CO2, CO2 carbon dioxide levels and decreasing the amount of oxygen that's in their blood. So, it's pretty simple. There's been lots of studies. All you gotta do is get a oxygen meter, put, it, put your finger on it, right? You can buy these on Amazon. It's, it measures the amount of percentage of oxygen you had and then put your, put your, your N95, your, your superior mask on, right? And start breathing through your mouth, through your nose, whatever you're gonna do. And what do you think happens? Okay, what do you think happens? Your carbon dioxide goes up and your oxygen profile goes down. Now, you know, you gotta really think this through. Okay, do you feel like a COVID idiot? Well, maybe, but forget about that part. That's just how you feel. Maybe you look like a COVID idiot too, right? Like put them up. <laughs> I gotta fix my mask, right? When I walk into the store, okay? Put them up. That's right, put them up, boys. Jesse James here. Okay, but do you follow a lot of the COVID idiot orders? Okay. So, again, guys, all I can tell you is that if you lower your blood oxygen and you increase your carbon dioxide, because when you breathe in, remember you breathe in, if you're living in a good area, 21% or so of oxygen, okay? And you're breathing in 0.03%, let's say, or 1% of carbon dioxide, just a very little bit. And when you exhale, you use some of that oxygen up, right? Like you exhale 19% or so, they say, of oxygen, because you just use some of it. And of course you let out carbon dioxide, okay? Like 3%. So all of a sudden the oxygen that you breathed in converts over and you're kicking out your toxic waste through your mouth, through your breathing, through your breath, okay? When you go to the bathroom pee pee, okay, feces, these are a way your body gets rid of toxicity. So if you're wearing this mask all the time, okay, and then you put it down and then you put it back up again, whatever's in your body that you're trying to get rid of is growing on the inside of your mask. So at least wash your mask out before you even put the bloody thing on. Those masks, remember, they're not made out of cotton. They're made out of a toxic material, super small little polyester, synthetic chemical, petrochemical fibers made from crude oil, and you're breathing in these small little fibers, and what do you think happens when they go into your lungs? Not so good again. So a lot of the orders that we get are confusing is because if you've got halfway of critical thinking, remember critical thinking means we talk to each other, and if we're on six foot social distancing, okay, and you can't even see facial expressions, you know, I'm walking around, right, and, and again, I see people, their fear, their guilt, and their shame under the mask. They look at me for a second and they look away. Okay, I can't stand this thing on, dumb. Anyways, I see people in line, stressing, breathing through these, these masks. <gasps> okay, you're stressing, guys. You're building now not only extra CO2, but now you're building cortisol because you're stressing yourself out. Breathing should not be noticed. And if you have to notice breathing, that means that you are overworking your breath. 
and you're starting to to stress your system out. So not only do you lower your carbon dioxide or increase your carbon dioxide, lower your blood oxygen, but you're stressing your system out. More cortisol, just more stress. Stress hormones, stress chemicals, compounds that the body produces. Now you need to get this stuff out of your system and now you're gonna breathe out. Okay, it's just a vicious cycle of idiocy. Remember, do you feel the COVID, uh, <laughs> this, this idiocracy. All right, so now remember your body is breathing in millions of foreign bacteria every day of every minute. It's just the way it is. It's everywhere. And this is how our bodies, this is what you'd call immunology 101, is where your body needs to be able to have an effect to be able to get healthy. And how does it do that? It's not by staying in a non-germed area, it's by actually having some germs. So your body doesn't do anything with those as far as uh, you being able to absorb anything. Okay, what it's doing is it's constantly on, on battle mode, which is a good thing. So anyways, do you feel the, idio the idiocracy, okay, the covid idiocy <laughs> whatever you want to call it so anyways life is again a bunch of choices that we make but then following the rules and no one's saying for you not to follow the rules but sometimes following the rules of idiocracy is not the smartest thing to do so you have to use your own critical thinking and really think this through so, you know, I just did a video the other day on, you know, your body just being able to fight off any type of assault. You need to know that your body likes to fight off assaults. If for some reason you stop all assaults from going in your system, and your body sometimes is not as strong as you think. And if you have too many assaults flowing into your system, then of course your body is not as strong as you think again. So living in a germicidal free bubble is not really helping you as much as you think. Okay, washing your hands all the time. I wash my hands probably five, six times a day with regular soap, not with alcohol, not with all these antibiotics. So, you know, all we can say is right now, you know, you've got yourself, most of the people that are dying of this common flu are over 79 years old. Okay, those are most of the people. So, you know, what are you going to do if you're 20 years old? What are you going to get now? What contract, which a lot of people say it's contract tracing instead of contact tracing tracing remember contract tracing gonna pay a hundred thousand to three hundred thousand people I just read up to sixty five thousand dollars a year to chase people down like a bounty hunter <laughs> really good okay everybody's out of a job and now you can have the best job in the world it says as one that's gonna save lives or cause more lives to be stressed yeah let me sign up for that I get 65,000 a year let's say and I can take your children away from you really what are you gonna get deputized <laughs> it's all becoming like an insane asylum everything that I see right now doesn't make any sense at all it just doesn't and if you're part of what you believe on you know the mainstream I was gonna call it the lame stream but the average people that watch television believe things that come out of the authoritative okay, actors' mouths. And that's all most people are at these levels. Remember, you can't get into any of these high-level offices unless you're part of the system. Okay? That's the way it works. I don't care if you're a star, okay, a celebrity, a politician. 
okay? I don't care who you think that you are, okay? Once you get to a certain level, you must be now indoctrinated into the club, okay? And it's all in different layers, different levels. It's not like, you know, just because you're part of the club now doesn't mean you know a lot of things that's going on. No, you don't. You only know what you're told and you only know what you're supposed to know. That's the best part. This whole system, the way it works is it's very compartmentalized. No one really knows what the next person's doing is because everyone's got a little different orders. And not only that, the orders that you have, okay, order followers, you're getting paid to do this. And this is where it takes critical thinking in your mind. Good video uh, channel to watch is high impact, high impact vlogs or flicks. A uh, guy's name is Brian, and he puts out a couple videos a day of, well, a lot of the different information that's just flying around that everybody needs to see. So, you know, life is, again, learning from other people. Critical thinking is when we speak to each other, when we see each other's eyes, okay, when we can see each other's facial expressions. Okay, critical thinking is where you learn certain things from other people. Hey, look, there's more cars in this place today. Yeah, that's good. Perfect. Because before, when I used to come here, all I saw was the homeless people. That's it. Okay, hey, look, there's more cars than I've seen in this parking lot. Okay, for a long time. That's a good thing. I'm going to the health food store here, get a few things. I have to put my cornholio mask on. But a lot of these people, see, they're outside here. They don't have their masks on. Good men. Good boys. Okay. And then once you go into the store that says you must wear one, then, yeah, put it on. I put mine on when I walk in, and then I just drop it as soon as I get in the door. And if someone tells me to, to put it on, I will. I can't stand these things. All they do is make me feel dizzy, weak, can't stand me breathing my own air. I want fresh air. I want to breathe my own air, especially when I know my air is perverted. Is because, remember, I have high carbon dioxide when I breathe out my air. And that's the way it works. Shoot, I can't even get a good spot today. <laughs> that's good. You got, a, you got people that have their doors open right now. Whether the system likes it or not, that's good. That's what I like to see. Okay. Put some air in here. So, now I can't critique people going in the store because I like to, I like to go ahead and see what's, uh, what's going on a little bit. Okay, take this thing off the rack here. Okay, beautiful day today. As you can see, real clouds up there. Okay, real clouds out on the ocean. And even real clouds to the left of me here which is a beautiful thing because the last few days they've been really doing the aerosols really hard. So, you know, there's so many things going on right now in, in the world. People can't make heads or tails on what to do about anything. Check out that beard now, man. Got a longer billy goat going. <laughs> I got about, I think, four months on it now. Okay, anyways, soft, super soft. Now, we'll see if I can grow it like Gandalf. We'll see if we can get it down to here, right? Like an old wizard. <laughs> Everyone's confused is what I see. And now since I'm in the city, this is a good machine for you to... Okay, to, to use. And this checks electric and magnetic fields. Okay, and even the most minute ones, even the one coming out of my look, out of my out of my microphone. So you can hear it, can't you? Okay, and my phone's off. So my phone's off and what this is doing, it's registering, you can hear it, it's registering the magnetic 
and electrical potentials. Let's put it on electric. Not too much here, but you should see this is how you, and I'll do a video on this, on how you clean up your household with magnetic and electronic, of, well, electronic bleeding in your house. This will tell you how much bleeding that you have, okay, coming out of, these guys, look, the guy just went by on a taxi and he's wearing his, <laughs> so this guy, see, people are driving around with their masks on, you too, in their car. Okay, again, there's so much to talk about. What do we talk about? Guys, critical thinking is something that we all need to have. And, you know, can you see that there's a big agenda on tap right here? Do you really think that your government, remember, government to gubernir, right? To govern the mind, the mente. Okay, this is, these are Latin, Spanish, okay? To govern the mind, government. Remember, if the government really, or the system, your politicians really loved you like they act like they do right now, trying to keep you from getting, getting sick, then they would stop the fluoride in your water supply. They would change the disinfectant that they use instead of chlorine or chloramine because there's lots of better ones than those toxic, toxic, super toxic things that go into your water supply. Okay, if they really cared about you, they would make all of the fast food places either stop selling that crap or they would go ahead and shut them down. You would stop using pesticides, insecticides, and herbicides and fungicides in any detectable measure in your food. You would put out these large companies that are pushing processed, synthetic crap food okay now you know that your your leaders supposedly right people say oh they're your leaders they're not my leaders i guess they are but you know supposed to go ahead and be people that we put in charge to help us in our lives not not dumb us down or dope us down look at the just the you know the the education system common core again cc a, B, C, that's the third letter, C, C, 33, Common Core, okay? I mean, can you see that most people have no, I mean, critical thinking at all? That's been bred out of us. Critical thinking is bred out of you through 12 years of training, and you call that 12 grades of up to high school, right? Okay, you gotta be high to graduate high school with all their theories. Yes, you do. And I'm glad if you didn't graduate high school, guys. You know why? It's because maybe you didn't get as indoctrinated as much as all those that had 4.0 good memories. That's all that says that you are. So when you go to school, if you get a 4.0, that doesn't mean you're smart. It means that you can memorize things good is because if you were smart, you'd have critical thinking, and critical thinking would ask questions about where you, you know, well, where you, you live and what situation you're in, okay? Like I keep saying, look, do you really think I'm in Hawaii? Do you really think that I'm sideways? <laughs> do you think this lady, hey, she took her mask off in her car, good girl. Okay, do you really think that I'm sideways now? Is because that's what they tell us. How about there's a big ship over there in the harbor? Do you think that that ship is sideways right now and, and it's just holding itself there from a mysterious force that's supposed to be sucking it to the, to the center of the core of the earth, right? So, you know, stories, theories, evolution theory, gravity theory, Relativity theory, the blade of grass theory, okay? Everything is a theory, just remember that, okay? Health is only a theory. Nobody knows really what's best for them. 
But then again, do you really think if this is a microwave transmitter you call a cell phone, do you think that that's good to put up next to my head? Especially if you know that the microwaves that are in your machine will go ahead and start interacting with the heavy metal particles you have in your brain or in your body, carrying it on your person. But if you put this up to your head and there's microwaves coming out of this thing, right, because it's a two-way microwave machine, then you know that the microwaves are going to go pretty much all the way through your head, okay, or at least until they can't get through any further. But whatever they hit, aluminum, cadmium, mercury, okay, any heavy metal, chromium, Okay, anything that basically is in your body, all, all these heavy metals that we suck up on a daily basis, okay, from the geoengineering in the sky, from the crappy fuel that we put in our cars. This is all accumulating in our bodies. And once it accumulates in our bodies, then I suggest that you stay away from wireless technology. It's because the wireless radiation that goes in your system tick 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 click right because it's all pulse technology goes in and hits aluminum bing hits lead bing and every time one of these microwaves hits a heavy metal it it's like playing the piano bing 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 right all right, watch out. This thing's choking me. I got the I got the co COVID <laughs> All right, now I got to go put my like I said, I'm sweating in here. I got to go put my my feeling dumb. Now I'm going to feel like a bloody idiot going in there like that. Here. <laughs> oh yeah, hey, it's 100 degrees right now. Let's say it's 95 90 about 90 degrees right now in Hilo. Yeah, this is really good. I'm sweating in here just right now putting this stupid thing on. Okay, all it's doing is causing everybody stress. And I take it down, air is so good and it f feels nice to breathe. But when, when I'm wearing the dumb mask, then all I'm doing is breathing hot, stinky air because it's coming out of your mouth, right? Anyways, okay, critical thinking, guys. That's all I can tell you. Okay, and that means you have to talk to your friends. This is the reason why you want to be very. Uh, variable on the information that you get into your world. Authoritative news is one type of news. Then you have the alternative news. And that's another type of news. Then you have the alternative alternative news and the alternative 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 news. And the further you get down the alternative news section, most likely there's more truth in the news you're getting or information than the top of the barrel news, those that actually control all of the news in the world. Remember, there's only like five companies that control all the news in the world. Anyways, enough. If not, we're just talking psychobabble. Talk to your friends, guys. And, you know, there's lots of good channels for you to, to catch up on. Dollar Vigilante's good. Uh, a guy named Jeff Berwick. I do a lot of laughing with him. <laughs> yeah. And uh, let's see, who else? Joe Embriano. I do a lot of, get a lot of laughing out of him too. He's uh, got the Fullerton Informer or Weeky Joe. That's his backup channel. And uh, let's see, if you want to learn about geoengineering, Mike Morales, Above Ground World News. That's a good one for you to check out the aerosol and spraying operations, the bunker fuel operations, all the different types of weather, you can call it control, weather manipulation, weather engineering, doesn't matter, geoengineering, they're all the same. But it is being done and it's been done for many, many years, okay, many years. And I'm talking from way before Vietnam, but let's just say from Vietnam forward, weather manipulation has been going on big time. So critical thinking is to be able to show you that maybe your rulers, okay, and that's what you got, remember, just like George Carlin said, 
okay? You got owners and you're not part of the big club. And in fact, remember, they're gonna beat you on the head with that club until you submit to the club's rules, okay? Or the clubs uh, of whatever they want to tell you to do, okay? So all I can say again, guys, is that life is very confusing right now. And remember, we don't even know what to eat. We don't know how to dress. All we do is go by the fashions, right? This year we'll dress this way. Next year we'll do this. Veganism's out because we saw the game changer. So I'm going to go ahead and try veganism, right? And that's good for a fast. But other than that, it's just a fast. <clears throat> that's it. Veganism or vegetarianism, you cannot, this is what I found out, you cannot sustain yourself. And if you can, you're one of the irregular ruminants, okay? Because that's what you're training your body to be is a ruminant animal, which is is a animal that's an herbivore, a ruminant, and they have a ruminant gut, and they can break down this plant biomass not like we can. They break it down because they have a fermented chamber. Apes break down all that stuff they eat is because they have a fermented chamber to break it down. We haven't got one of those. We just get gas. Fermentation tries to to work but all you do is get bloating and gas and indigestion okay so there we go i see everybody got their masks on now <laughs> okay enough guys learn the terrain modification protocols practices and principles and that's at eartheracademy.com ten dollars a month right now you can learn a lot of good stuff and like i said if you don't feel that you've learned anything the first month, then tell us and we'll give you back your $10. Okay. Again, it does cost a lot of money to run all these things. Um, as we see a lot of channels putting out a video or two, especially researching and looking into things, it takes a lot of people's times up to be able to try to share information to others. And since there's so much censoring now, YouTube, of course, and uh, Facebook, any of these places, okay, you really can't share that much anymore is because you've got yourself your, your fact checkers, right, checking on fake news, and anything that goes against the, the, the agenda of the highest level of information, okay, this is going to be thwarted, okay, it's going to be held down or tied back. And that's what religare means, right? In Latin. And what does religare mean in English? Religion. To tie down, thwart, or tie back. Okay? Mind control, in fact. And so we're under a large, what you can call sort of psychological warfare game right now. And if you don't think so, guys, you got 35 million people out of work right now, or at least just trying to get unemployment benefits. How about 33 million, right? Give it the 33. And, well, everybody else is pretty much, you know, you got a lot of people that are entrepreneurs, business owners. They don't work for people, they work for themselves. Look, I work for myself. I didn't get a stimulus check. I haven't got any help from anybody. Guys, and you've cut out thousands of dollars just by cutting off restrictions of tourism, okay, to just flying on a plane, to be able to just spend money at a store. Yeah, and I'm ordering stuff off of Amazon now. I know it takes a month to get one thing versus before. It used to take three or four days. So they got you either way. <laughs> Okay, I'm glad that I've gained, again, 25 pounds, 27 pounds or so of pure muscle on my new diet. And my eyes and stuff aren't sunk in as much as they used to be, which is a good thing. Because I look at myself back in my old videos, you know, and I say, what a soy boy I used to be. Man, it's just what it is. Just you eat plants and you start looking like an effeminized plant. Okay. That's what happens to most people. Maybe not all people. You start getting phytoestrogenic emotional. Okay, and that's why I see a lot of people here really emotional, 
crying at the at the snap of nothing okay and those are guys girls I already know you've got a lot of high high estrogen is because of the RF frequencies the cell phones you're using because of the especially if you're sort of hippie right hippie chick or hippie guy you're just eating vegetables or fruits and a lot of these vegetables or fruits are loaded full of not only plant compounds that are poisonous if you don't process them but they are loaded with estrogen a lot of the plants are loaded with estrogen there we go this guy just got takeout got a pizza it looks like and whatever else yowzum okay that's enough we'll see you guys aloha critical thinking man all right time for me to go feel covid idiocy <laughs> all right here we go aloha